Hi friends, so today we move into the gate 59 or the sun illuminates the great gate 59 I should say. So in traditional language, the gate 59 is all about sex, it's called the gate of sexuality. In quantum human design language, it's called the gate of sustainability. And in the gene keys, it is known as the gift of intimacy or the shadow, I forget, hang on one sec. It's a lot of words to remember sometimes. All right, or the shadow of dishonesty. So watch over the next five to six days. What are you noticing yourself being dishonest about? Are you being dishonest about how you're feeling, how you're thinking about something you might not be sharing with someone um, that feels risky or scary to share because you're worried about hurting people's feelings or whatever it is? Um, and then watch in the collective as well. Where is dishonesty playing out? Where is um, lying playing out? Where are agendas playing out that don't feel so good to your personal spidey senses and you're not sure what's happening over there, right? This is all calling us into tapping into um, honest vulnerability, being our authentic human selves in all of our feelings. Um, you know, within within reason, of course, within ways that we also take care of ourselves, having boundaries in the place of sharing some vulnerability, right? It's about tapping into just kind of slowly showing your heart to you, your loved ones, to yourself, even to the world, um, and being authentically you in all of this. Our world so needs this. Our world has so much, um, so many lies and dishonesty circling around it with um, deceitful agendas and thoughts um, in ways to manipulate people. And so how can you show up honestly and in integrity for yourself and your community, knowing that the more of us that do that, the more of us that show up in integrity in our community, this creates ripples where that deceit and those lies are no longer, they're no longer accepted any, anywhere. So just encouraging you to watch for that um, in, over the next five or six days and see what, see what arises for you.